Greetings, international students, and welcome to the Marist family of Red Foxes. We are pleased to welcome you to this very engaged, vibrant, and communal group of students. I've already met a few of you through video chat, and I can't wait to meet all of you in person. I'd also like to send a very sincere hello to the parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, and brothers and sisters who helped you on this journey. We know that it takes a village and a community to achieve the level of a college degree. My name is Wendy Fritz, and I am the Assistant Director of International Student Services. My colleague and I, Ms. Deb Holtman, want to make sure that you have your I-20s in hand as you prepare for your visa interviews. We also want to make sure that you have access to all of the services that you need once you arrive on campus. We also want to make sure that you have a first year schedule that will put you on a path to academic success once you arrive on campus. We want to talk about the I-20 experience. You're going to need an I-20 and an F-1 student visa to enter the country. Think of the I-20 as the key that will unlock the door to the visa interview process. To obtain an I-20, you will need to submit a signed and dated bank letter, declaration of finance, evidence of English language proficiency, and a copy of your current passport. You're going to need to submit all of those documents to admissions at maris.edu. Once these documents have been received and reviewed, we will scan a copy of your I-20 to you. Due to the coronavirus, you will be able to receive an electronic copy as well as a paper copy of your I-20. Once you receive your I-20, you're going to want to go online and pay your I-901 SEVIS fee. You can do this at studyinthestates.dhs.gov. At this point, you will then want to schedule your visa interview. We know that everyone will have a different experience with the visa interview process, and we also know that protocols for a visa may have changed due to the coronavirus. That said, we thought it might be helpful for two students to share their experiences. To understand the visa interview process, I have two students with me today. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Okar and I'm from Myanmar. I'm a rising junior at Marist College and I'm a double major in English and Business. So as for my visa experience, I wanted to say that it was relatively straightforward. Um, the questions that was in the interview mainly regarded the purpose of my visit as well as the intent, how long I plan to stay there, how long I'd be studying and questions like that. So the most useful piece of advice I have for you is to make sure that the information you're giving out during the interview aligns with the information you gave uh, in your visa application. And you can do this by reviewing it before the appointment. You can talk to adults such as your parents as well uh, to make sure that you're remembering the details correctly and that should help you stay calm throughout the interview. Hi everyone, my name is Mohamed Ali and I'm from Somaliland and a rising junior here at Marist College and I major in business administration with an emphasis in finance. Uh, if I talk about my um, interview process, I would say it was different because I had to travel to a neighboring country to get my interview done. And adding on to what Orca said, um, it relatively took about 10 to 15 minutes and the interviewer um, seemed really calm and friendly and I enjoyed talking to them and it felt like a normal conversation between me and the interviewer. Although I was nervous the first time, but then as I started speaking to the interviewer, interviewer the, I felt calm and relaxed. The only tip that I could give you is just to make sure that you have all the documents you need and then prepare in advance and uh, just be you and yourself and do not stress. Okay, thank you. Now that you are here, you want to make sure that you are connected to all of the services that you need to succeed. The Office of International Student Services assists students in their transition to American culture and college life. We are available to support you with your academic goals. And finally, 
If you want to work once you arrive in the United States, we're happy to help you with that process as well. While all of this is important, we also want you to have fun and we want you to connect with the current international students. Our returning students are like a family. To share their experiences, Okar, Mohammed, and Inez will let you know what life is like as a Marist Red Fox. Hi, my name is Inez. I'm from Portugal. Um, I'm a rising senior. I am a fashion merchandising major and a business minor. What I love the most about Marist is honestly the fashion department because that is the whole reason why I decided to come to America in the first place. And Marist offers great opportunities and has an amazing program with amazing teachers and activities that I don't think I could do in any other school. And also the opportunities that Marist gives for studying abroad. Um, even though as international students, we are technically already studying abroad, um, we still can go to many other countries. Um, I chose to go to Florence for a semester and do a semester in Manhattan. And both of them were amazing experiences that really complemented my whole study abroad experience in America. Well, my favorite thing to do at Marist is honestly to go to the library because it's, it's more than a library, it's like a social place where you can really be with all your friends while do, doing your work. And me personally, I can't really focus in my dorm because I'm with all my friends. So going to the library will, really helps me to focus while also seeing the friends that I can't see during the day because they're in class. Apart from that, it has an amazing view of the river and studying there with the sunset is just amazing. Being an international student at Marist is an amazing opportunity, like my friend said before. Um, it's really being part of a family and you can really count on everyone, on all the international students, to help you in any time because we're all here in the same way, we're all here without our families. And there's also something special about being an international student, for example, going to the cafeteria. There's this like special table for international students that when I got here in freshman year, everyone told me that I needed to sit down at that table because it's specifically for international students, even though, of course, we bring our friends there too. It's really cool to have a table there because every time I go to the dining hall, even if I don't go with my friends, I know that in that table there's always going to be someone to sit with me and that I know I can count on always. So it's really good to have that place in such a big school and such a big country. Well, my favorite thing to do here at Mars is um, sitting at the Mars beach and enjoying a Mars sunset. There's nothing better than that, especially when you have a long day of classes and different activities, spending time with your friends. It just feels really different from everything. Uh, I, I would recommend that you take time out of your day and just go to the Mars beach and enjoy. I would say that I feel a strong sense of community here because of the way we participate in group events uh, or hangouts, um, whatever it is really. We like to do it uh, together and that sense of community I think is upheld by uh, the initiative that students have to try and keep the group together. Um, I think that's our secret really. The, the glue that holds us together is to be proactive and to want to be a part of this group and that not only brings us together, but I think that helps us stay together as friends in the long run. And it really just helps us out when we are going to sports games or when we're watching um, events happen, we can do it together and we're never really alone uh, throughout the experience. So I would recommend uh, the incoming class to bring that encouragement and excitement of participating in this group as well. Thank you all for watching and we can't wait to meet you in the fall.